Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Saki Bilal and I am here to present Peak and Place Robotic Arm using digital image processing. My other group members are Ethiyamu Lag and Abdul Wab Malik and this project is supervised by engineer Malik Muhammad Vukasab. First of all, let me introduce our project first. Basically, due to COVID-19, most of the electronic manuf manufacturing hubs like China, Japan, South Korea was in lockdown. Because of this lockdown, the world is facing the shortage of uh, electronic components like uh, sensors and uh, chips, due to which many electronic uh, device prices are on the hike. As the famous uh, uh, saying is that necessity is the, is the mother of all, in uh, of all inventions. So engineers are, uh, are planning to replace uh, expensive electronic components with uh, computer vision, which will not only reduce the dependency on electronic components, but also reduce uh, the price of devices extensively. The another advantage of computer vision on conventional hardware-based systems is that uh, it, will, uh, it will reduce the human inter intervention, which will result in lower cost and more efficient in, uh, and reliable systems. It will decrease the devices, of, uh, uh, the, the devices cost uh, considerably. And now, uh, let, me, uh, uh, let me discuss the methodology used in this project. In, the, uh, in this project. In order, uh, in order to pick and place the object based on computer vision, we have two challenges. Uh, first one, uh, first one was object detection, the end, and the other was obje object localization. In order to detect and localize the object which is to be picked up and placed on the desired location, we are using the HSP color filtering, uh, in which uh, in which colors are identified based on hue, saturation, and value. In order to identify the desired object, we are using the higher and low ranges uh, to, uh, to identify uh, that particular uh, 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 color object only. Apart uh, from um, apart from HSV color filtering, we, we are using bilater bilateral filter, uh, Gaussian blur, and uh, and contouring. Uh, once the object is identified uh, identified ba based on the uh, its color the next step uh, is to find the uh, uh, is to find and send the coordinates to the arduino which will then move the servo motor according to uh, according to the coordinates uh, here we uh, here we are using the uh, pi uh, serial library uh, pi serial uh, library to communicate between arduino uno and python yeah, now uh, let me show the uh, block diagram of our pro of our pro project. Uh, basically, this is uh, this is the system design of our project. Uh, basically, uh, webcam uh, webcam is uh, connected uh, to the uh, uh, to the uh, PC or laptop, and uh, laptop is uh, connected uh, to the uh, Arduino Uno. And Arduino Uno, uh, uh, Arduino, uh, we will send the uh, coordinates to the Arduino Uno, and Arduino Uno will move the uh, six servo motors according uh, according to, uh, to the uh, uh, coordinates. Uh, uh, now let's uh, show me the demo of uh, of our project. Uh, thank you.